What's going on guys? I know it's been a minute since I've uh, made a video, but that's because I've been working on some behind the scenes stuff. And I feel like now's a, a goodest moment as ever to go ahead and share that with you. I started by reflecting and I was reflecting on the past couple videos I've been making on uh, Vanessa Tejerina. And I'm proud of those videos, but I realized I was sharing a bad part of the valley. I reside in the Rio Grande Valley, the RGV. That's what everyone knows it as. Uh, that's what everyone calls it. As much as I enjoy covering Vanessa T and all her shenanigans, I don't want this channel just to be 90% just covering one person when we have a whole valley of people. The valley is 4,872 square miles. There's a lot of people there, a lot of stories to be told, and that's kind of what I want this new series to be about. The other night, I was walking around McAllen like in the middle of the night, and I realized the valley is a beautiful place. I've always known it. I, I love the valley. Yeah, but that night, like I was, I felt like I was the only one around because it was four in the morning. Uh, no cars on the road. I didn't see anybody, and I got to you know explore and see things in peace and silence. The valley might not be a huge metropolitan area like you know New York, LA, but the valley has a lot to offer. I decided that I am going to rebrand my channel, rebrand the image of my social platform and dedicated to sharing amazing places, people, things, all around the valley. Basically the slogan I'm working with right now, uh, just to give you an idea here, because I don't want to give out too much information because I'm still recording, I'm meeting with people. This channel will be mainly local reviews, foods, and news for you. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done shooting this video, I'm going to go ahead and shoot an interview. And yes, I'm going to be talking about the valley, but I also want to talk about the people of the valley. Because there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of artists, there's a lot of musicians, there's comedians, there's wrestlers, there's content creators, there's, there's a lot of people out there. So I feel like I have an obligation to go ahead and bring this community together to introduce people to new places, to introduce people to new foods, to introduce people to other talented people so this is where you all come in if you know of you know a local shop local restaurant local anything anything that's owned and operated locally go ahead and reach out to me you can leave a comment down here below I also list my uh, Facebook my snapchat my Instagram I list everything there okay you can reach me anywhere because I'm always there uh, reach out to me let me know about this place that I gotta go visit this shop I need to see this place I need to go eat at and I'll go ahead and go take a visit if anyone wants to join me I'll never say no to someone who wants to tag along and kind of give me a tour of, of this place that they want to share and I'll go ahead and visit it make a review make a video about it just so other people who might not know about it could see it and maybe even venture there themselves and same thing goes about local talent I've been doing this for years I had a website at one point where I was posting interviews I had a podcast at one point to where I was doing interviews there and sharing local uh, events, local uh, artists. The main event, it was too packed. I wasn't going to deal with that. <laughs> like, I'll Photoshop myself next to a park ranger for that one. Actually, in the 4th of July parade, I know um, we get a lot of older people who start fighting oh, really? for a picture with us. Yeah, and I mean, we can only do, we can't, we would love to take pictures with every single person who wants to take a picture with us. But sometimes when it just reaches to that, you know, that hour point or that two hour point, we have to leave. And it's a passion of mine. I feel that with the culture down here, with the population down here, I feel like this is an untapped market. I feel like there's so much to show people, but since we're, you know, South Texas, there isn't a lot of attention. So that's why I want to kind of build this up, build this, especially with the way things are lately in the world. I think it would be amazing for everyone just to find out about, you know, amazing artists, singers, musicians, actors that we have here in our own backyard. So yeah, like I said, after this, I'm gonna actually have an interview lined up already, as well as a place I'm gonna go visit later on this week. So the wheels are already turning on that. I already have a list of other people I'm gonna contact and places I'm gonna contact to see if they'll allow me to go ahead and cover their, their place of business. But yeah, I'm excited for this, and I hope you all are too, and like I said, if you have any suggestions, want to see a certain place covered, as long as it's in the valley, I will travel there. If it's, you know, an hour drive, if I need to go all the way to Raymondville, if I need to go all the way to Brownsville, if I need to go all the way uh, to the middle of nowhere just to check out this taco stand, I will do it. Alright, well, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm the Digital Dimwit, and take care, everyone.